Wow. Yeah. So that's why uh, AM is in losers. But now, here we go. Start of game one. Uh, Sweet Tea versus the new and improved Nitro. Yeah, what do you think about him optimizing for choke now? A little more over the Belmont. Honestly, if I had to choose which one to fight, I would rather fight the Joker over the Belmont. But, really? yeah. yeah. But then again, I play Max, so... That's true. <laughs> I can see why. For sure. I mean, both of them are still some hard matches. Nevertheless, but again, here we go, guys. Starting game one, Sweet Pea versus Nitro. They're starting off with Pokemon Stadium. Here we go. And again, you know, a lot of Sweet Tea is going to start off with Pearl, go with those really smart, uh, short and smart uh, first combos. And then, yeah. like, probably around this percent, he's going to switch to Ivy Sword, trying to get that. Oh, I like that. Going for the bear to try to stage spike him. Unfortunately, going to drag down a little bit too fast. I'm not going to get the full bear off. But there we go, switching to the Ivy Sword right there. And this is where we start seeing the Razor Leaf projectile, like, zoning, trying to see, like, okay, I'm not going to commit to anything because I know that you have more sense. So I'm not going to do anything and, like, eat 50 for damage or potentially yeah, die. Exactly. Especially that counter too being so good, actually just seeing it right there as a uh, Sweet as a Razor Leaf there, just kind of confidently getting to throw that out there. Okay, really good positioning, uh, position for Nitro here. Has the stage, not gonna... Okay, really nice. Fair coming out from Sweet Tea there, and actually getting back onto the stage, nice and safe there, opting for that up there, not gonna connect, off to the jab next, and honestly this... They're both, there's like a little bit of spaghetti going on there. No, I like what he did. He did the down tilt and then the jab. So yeah, the down tilt yeah, is yeah. one of those like most underutilized moves of IV Sword right there. Where like, it's a nice quick hit. It doesn't do a whole lot of shield damage or anything. Kind of like, sets you up though. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, which is really nice. Uh, amount. <laughs> but again, yeah, both of these players sitting there are really high stock. And uh, Nitro, oh my gosh, back air going to be enough to take that first stock in. About to get our send here. Back air going to be enough to take it. Not enough. They, so we can't go. Great there. I find it kind of amusing how every single Pokemon in Team Trainer and Arsenal has a kill throw back throw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And uh, honestly, just waiting patiently at the web. Probably wants to offer a back throw. Get that grab. You know he was looking for it there. I mean, with Ivy Sword, you also have to worry about the down throw. And that was a Ooh. really bold switch right there. And that I don't was... think that's going to work out for him. I think he was trying to go for the switch to up B out of shield there. That's something, uh, you know, an option that you see a lot coming up from Sweet Tea there. And a good attempt at the same time with the uh, Arsene out there. You've got to be careful. Right. And yet again, this is why you got to pummel when you're at super high percent. I mean, it's free damage. Why not tack on an extra, like, 10% and potentially kill yeah. the back throw? Especially when you know that, like, it's kind of sucks for the night. Yeah, Nitro with the callouts here, uh, definitely sitting really comfortable here with his three stocks. <laughs> and three stocks though, actually. Okay, really nice opening up with CT. Not gonna let him get that three stock on him for sure. Here we go, Joker kind of opening up Squirrel right here, but here again, Squirrel has a couple of openings up there, gets his up air chain, but not gonna be able to follow it with that fair at the end. So 42% is a good start for him, but he's going to have to play so well if he wants to bring him back. I love that, using the grab instead of the dash attack, baiting out that rebel guard. Yeah, really uh, nice rebel guard to, to throw it out there at the left as well. But yeah, going to close it out with the back air at off stage. Really nice coming out from Nitro with that two stock for the first game. I Solid love, lead. I love what Nitro did there. He double jumped and then waited for Sweet Tea to pick an option. Mm -hmm. And then he and then he's just like, okay, I'm, 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 in, I'm in your zone. I could double jump back here now, yeah. or I could wait like half a second, wait for you to switch or press a button or something, and then I'll exactly, double jump back here. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I definitely have to use the restroom uh, after this. But here we go. Game two, starting off on, uh, we got Town and City now. Right. Here we go. This is Sweet Tea's counter pick, so it's going to be interesting to see how he'll utilize the platforms to kind of extend his combos with Squirtle. But yeah, yeah. you know what? It seems to be working out well. I'm surprised he didn't go for the jab right there, trying to get the jab block. But I guess he wasn't confident enough to go for it. Yeah, no. Uh, definitely. Just going to be a little more patient. And then here we go. Nitro out with the Arsene already. That SP gauge is charging so quickly there. And honestly, you got to be a little uh, careful too, especially Squirrel being one of the lightest characters in the game. You don't want to even pull and smash at the ledge. Getting that down, <coughs> down air, excuse me, into up smash. Really nice. 
And again, just barely looking to grab it. Yet again, he tried grabbing oh him after God. that first down air, but the, there's going to be not enough lag on it. So he's going to just fall prey to the spot dog or, or double jump into another down air. Yeah, so he's honestly thinking more about Squirtle. A little bit too long, almost eating that uh, F smash there. But really nice back throw. He's going to take the first stock of the set. Looking a little better for Sweet Tea this game compared to last game. Right, he actually managed to take the lead for the first time. So, but again, how will Sweet Tea be able to convert? I'll just, oh no, he did the empty Hamaba. Okay, he's going to read the double, uh, the air dodge in and go for a down air, but not pulling the trigger on that. I feel like he tried going for up air, but just landed on the ground too early. Yeah, yeah. Definitely for sure. And, uh, yeah, this is looking like a scary situation. It's just that you have to be really careful on how you're going to recover. And uh, what options in that Nitro is thinking of throwing out at the edge of the stage here? All you know, if you are set being out, your uh, hitbox is going to really expand it a lot further than usual. So, really nice call out for Nitro to close out uh, first stock. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that was Sweet Tea's first stock there. Yeah. You know what? I like what Sweet Tea did there. He kind of just like played a little bit more patient, kind of waiting for Nitro to whip a bunch of these moves like that grab. And you know what? It seems to be working out for him a lot because, you know, he's not really getting punished as much except when Nitro finally gets in. But you know what? He hasn't been getting a whole lot of his conversion yet. So I feel like that's still kind of learning Joker combos a little bit. So he's getting oh, exactly. in. Okay, nice down there slam. Not actually really nice parry too. Gonna actually get the connection. Uh, Nick can get off of that. Jake getting that uh, up air there. Really nice. Off for jab here. Gonna get that extra damage. Get that down, so just add on a little bit more pressure, knowing that it would be safe if it's space correctly. So, again, hit by that AHA, gonna get in the zone, but not gonna be enough to finish him off. And you know what? Now he's in center stage and not looking for a throw, but gets the oh up air after the grab release. Yeah, grab release after taking out the up air, really nice option. Again, covers so much range. That down, ooh, down throw, double up in there, off the try. Ooh, wait, no, that was actually so good. I like how uh, Nitro threw out the Rebels guard, actually. Really good option, and it kind of stalled the momentum there. So that was really nice coming out from Nitro. Uh, so, CT couldn't get that uh, up the line with last hit. Just like, and again, you know, he just kind of needs to avoid our send for these last like few seconds, but that's why he went to Charizard and lived a little bit longer, and kind of retreat the ledge, and don't even credit that up Ooh, B out of shield. shield. Really nice. Yeah. Still, uh, Sweet Tea actually has a stock advantage though, so this is uh, pretty comfortably. Unfortunately, gonna die for that up B out of shield there on the platform. Honestly, feeling a little bit too comfortable right there, just throwing out that up B really prematurely. But still has a lot of work here to be comfortable. Gonna start off the turtle. And uh, honestly, this is a scary situation for Nitro. Yeah. There we go. There's the Ivysaur. You know what? Can he finish it off okay. with Ivysaur? Or will Nitro just seal out this game too and then stealing it from Sweet Tea's feet? He's actually bringing it back right now. It's getting a little too close for comfort here. Sweet Tea almost getting the Vine Whip call out. Super close. Trying to offer that grab there twice. There's a real a lot of spaghetti going on right now. It's negative. Very antsy right now. Oh, but okay. there's the up smash out of the spot dodge. And you know what? Sweet Tea does manage to hold the lead long enough to take the stock in the game. Okay, Everyone yeah, that was really nice. That's how coming out Sweet Tea. Tea had to close out that second game. And we are going to have game three going on. Is this, um, yeah, this winner's semi. So, yeah, it's going to be the best of five here. It's going to be really nice to see. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get Nitro's counter stage pick. So let's see. Run it back to Pokemon Stadium. Yes, we are. And, uh, yeah, what do you what do you think about this matchup? I feel like this matchup, like seeing it from the highest levels of MK Leon's week, it's even, you know. <clears throat> you know, there, yeah. there's, there, it's definitely even. But like, if Joker is in the zone, if you let him get Arsene and One, let him hold that advantage, go. like it becomes really hard for Pokemon right. to pick it up for sure. But I feel like that's with most characters in the game, like Joker. Joker without Arsene is like maybe like a top 15, top 20 at the at the worst, you know. Yeah. With Arsene, I think he can become like top three here. In the game. Yeah, no, he's really good for sure. And um, honestly, Sweet Tea actually having a really strong start here. And uh, wow, Nitro actually gets really good conversions off. Of it's it's Arsene. It's like it's relentless. It's like so much pressure. Uh, Sweet Tea's face here. Okay, really sweet, nice down air, getting rid of Arsene, really nice and early. Super thing coming out from Sweet Tea. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing about Arsene. No, I'd say the one thing that Arsene like, really lacks over base Joker is big recovery. His recovery is actually worse. 
it actually worked because it, you don't get that much more distance off of it. It's slower, so it's easier to two frame. Yeah. And you know what? They say like, oh, it has invincibility, but only on the beginning of it, which is when you're recovering from down low, it's basically going to be like at the bottom of the stage. So yeah. you're never going to be hit down there to begin with. But it's so much easier to get hit in two frame because our send like puts you up, and your hitbox gets shifted upward, so it's easier to two frame because you don't snap the legs as well. It's a really nice uh, way for Suki there as well. Gonna opt for that grab there instead of an attack punish. So really nice because Sniper like, did throw out that counter there. It would have been really scary at the corner of the stage. But again, looking up uh, with a really nice solid lead from CT. Wow, it's a big turnaround from what we saw from the first game. I definitely think that down air really takes momentum. But you know what, Naito saying though, like, I don't give a damn about what momentum you have to forward smash you and bring this game back slowly but surely but that up B is going to really contest them what he wants to do. Yeah, the fire breath at the ledge, really nice way for Nitro there. He knew he would have gotten up, he would have knocked him out, he would have had to really grab this really nice, uh, kind of like spatial uh, situation. Yeah. Really nice, getting to that F tilt there. We're going to see it down and off the stage, I know. Again, so I'm thinking about it. Oh, with the up kill, but you know what, not going to get punished for it. And gets the up air, no, can he make the most off of this Arsene? It's only at like a quarter percent of the gauge left, so. All that extra damage to free there. Really nice, this is a really good opportunity for Nitro, almost getting the F smash at the ledge. Yeah, just going to get that. Yeah. Okay, yo, if that was pre patch Flare Blitz, that definitely would have hit. But because they actually fixed it so that like you can use it to snap ledge now. Yeah, no, which is a really great uh, buff. Uh, but actually, Nitro with the big turnaround here. Uh, so, uh, this is more 120, or 35%. Uh, uh, Nitro kind of turned it around here. You know, he's really putting a whole lot of work during that Arsene, but now he's got to prove what he can do when he doesn't have the suit. Not going to get that tether grab on the ledge. Going to have to switch out to Charizard. Better option anyways, to be honest, he's sitting at 150. Alright, here comes Arsene, you know. Here's the demon. Is the demon gonna take out the stock with the Ooh, up air? That should be able to be up air. Really nice. Really nice confirm coming up from Nitro. Super solid. Yet again, the demon is out to play, but you know, Sweet just like, okay, I'm gonna use this angel platform to kind of like time her out a little bit. And that's what players should be using. They should be utilizing like, hey, I'm gonna force you to waste your gauge right here because what else are you gonna do? Yeah, he's definitely taking the advantage of stuff and timing, kind of just trying to like time it out. He does not want Arsene to be out. He does not want to have to fight Arsene, so definitely gonna uh, time that out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Now, this is where you kind of got to make the most of it because, you know, with the amount of gauge that Joker has left, he's probably going to get one more Arsene unless he dies. No, he's not quite. Right. Up air, not going to get that <laughs> up beat conversion there. Excuse me, let's go. But now, here comes out Arsene any moment. Oh, it was so clean. Really, really nice. Sorry, I don't know if you want to say it. that. Was oh, beautiful. my God. I, I love that because I uh -huh. think that, that strong down air to convert into up air is, is so good on platform stages. Oh, yeah, that was beautiful. That was really nice. And I like how he dropped down and waited a little bit as well. Um, really quick, I do have to use the restroom. I don't know. Did you want to hop on for me really? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I'll be right back, guys. Uh, take your time. Take your time. All right, looks like we're going to get Z Fly on the mic to cover for Aerosdale. Now going into game four, Sweet T with the counter pick advantage now in the game as Nitro does manage to bring it to a game five, but we'll see where Nitro wants to take this. And just running it back to Stadium, you know, it was it was definitely close towards the end. If you had not gotten hit by that downer and up air, to the just got her set, almost had the chance to make a comeback, but not quite quick enough. Yeah, I mean, that... Like you said, getting hit by that down air for up there. Uh, Arson coming out at the correct moment. I think uh, maybe Arson not coming out would have allowed Nitro to really use the Rebel Guard to absorb the, the up air, but I mean, I guess we'll never know. I'm running it right back to Pokemon Stadium now. We can see a down throw the forward air. Oh, good Pokemon switch, but Nitro there to catch it. And catch him again, he does. Ooh. And again, he's just keeping him in the air and it just it doesn't stop. And you know what? He's in the corner. How's he going to get out of this? But 
air dodges hasn't you know Nitro's not gonna be able to catch that in time so now we just kind of reset back to neutral right here and i like the way that sweet t is swinging at nitro you know he's using the back air trying to keep uh nitro at just a just outside of joker's um threat range and then even mixes up a couple razor leaves to add a little bit more range to his kit Again, smart choice to go to Charizard, you know, a little bit heavier, a little bit stronger, so maybe use that to kill Arsene early, but you know what? A little bit slower too, so Arsene definitely has the speed and can just get him off the edge like this, and oh, I like that, switching to Squirtle, mixing up how he's going to recover. Hey, even using the, withdraw the withdraw? is that what that is? Withdraw, uh, yeah. Yeah, withdraw. Uh, in case, you know, Nitro does in fact go a little bit too high and tries to challenge the recovery, you can't have that vulnerability. He's really, you know, trying to shoot himself in the game, but ooh, yeehaw. Again, no, 180%, that's not going to be enough to live. I lied, you changed it to Charizard, so of course you're going to live at 200%. Up to that nair. 200% mm -hmm. even on a huge target like that, not going to be able to live, but 155 with Squirtle, ooh. Uh, up till not able to convert. Now Arson is back. That's gotta be scary. That's a max rage to get yeeted right into the blast zone. And again, even stocks right now, but I like that using the withdraw and be like, you think you can find us? Nah, I'm gonna draw out my, my quick fair. And uh, what you thought was your advantage just turned to mine. Mm -hmm. putting, putting Nitro in that mid percent and switching back to, into uh, Ivysaur. I'll be very old, but really swift, really quick, but. Here comes our Senate, and now this is where Sweetie has to be super careful about how he approaches because any little damage that he takes is going to be multiplied by two, basically. Oh no, and that switch to Squirtle. I know he was expecting Nitro to be a little bit more offensive, uh, but just po switching Pokemon a little bit too early and switching to the lightest of them all, that's so unfortunate for Sweetie. Here we go, no. Ivysaur paying off the stock before he takes too much damage, but here we go, down throw, up beat, not going to be able to quite connect it at that point. Then Yeehaw connects, that's going to be a lot of, that's, that dot damage really adds up, especially when you keep getting flipped by the side B over and over. Yeah. But again, that razor leaf to up air is a thing, so only 39%, this is definitely doable for CT to just close out the set right here, right now. Oh, I like the platform reset, up throw to up air, and then getting two up tilts on the platform. Just extending his combo. And back here getting the ledge crash very smart on that platform. And there's the forward air to up air. He tried to do the MK Leo combo, but no, that must be a super tight combo in order to pull off. Definitely on those platforms? Yes. Okay, fastball air dodge to the ground, very smart. Dash attack and a connect, and now that's gonna. Give all the stage control to Nitro. Ooh, the dash back F smash. You know what? All these Aegons, but there's the counter. Is it going to be enough? Or can he stall out just long enough to avoid Arsene? But he doesn't need to avoid Arsene. He can just kill him right then and there. Sneaking in another W for Sweet T. Taking that set 3-1 over Nitro. You know, I was really expecting Nitro to bring out the... The Richter. The Richter, the yeah. Belmont. But... I like the the progress that we're seeing with his his Joker. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's, his, it's his Joker's solid. Really good. His Joker's solid. It's not 